All right, in, uh, in this module, we're gonna talk about Poisson's ratio, which is another elastic property of materials. So we just finished talking about the elastic modulus, which talks about the force required to stretch bonds uh, in a reversible manner. Poisson's ratio uh, looks at the, is a ratio that um, compares the um, axial uh, and by that mean we mean the tensile axis. So if we have a uh, test sample here that is tested uh, and the stress uh, goes in the z direction uh, along this axis, um, then we know that we're going to have elongation uh, of the length uh, during elastic deformation. However, we're also going to look at lateral. So what happens in the x and y direction? And in that case, that's the lateral strain. And what we find is if we, you know, to conserve volume, if we extend or uh, elongate the sample, the uh, other directions, the lateral directions, contract uh, such that we uh, effectively have a negative uh, incorporated into this ratio. So Poisson's ratio uh, is given here, uh, and it's, again, the um, lateral over the axial. So axial Z is in the direction here, and then X is representing that uh, along the lateral direction. And there's a negative to compensate for the fact that um, those directions are different. One of them's extending, one of them's contracting. And so this is to get a positive ratio. The, the opposite is true when we talk about compression. So if we talk about compression, then we know this length decreases, and therefore to preserve volume, the x and y direction would have to increase. Sorry, de uh, sorry. Uh, if the uh, if we contract if we compress it, this length gets smaller, and the thickness or the strain in the x and y direction would have to get larger. Right. So it's the opposite of what happens in tension. So that's what Poisson's ratio is. It basically gives us the ratio of those strains. And so let's compare this for, for some materials. And so typical values for Poisson's ratio uh, are between a quarter, so 0.25, and 0.45. And metals are somewhere right in the middle. So metals are right around one-third for Poisson's ratio. Uh, and then uh, ceramics can be a little lower, polymers... Uh, can be a little higher. Um, a couple notes about this, um, these values. Um, if the ratio is less than 0.5, which is the most common case, um, then what that means um, is that uh, we have essentially um, density decreases. So we actually have uh, voids form uh, in this case. However, if this, uh, if this value is greater than 0.5, uh, the density actually increases. Uh, so again, it's more common to have, um, and uh, very uncommon to have a number uh, over 0.5. But again, this kind of gives you an estimate uh, of what's happening uh, with those values.